So we're about to unpause this match, but I just wanted to talk about something. I was playing a game against Fenor on Plunging Valley. He's blue, I'm red, and we're going to watch this from his perspective. We're, I wanted to talk about something that he did that is one of those micro moments that I think is really impactful the second it matters, and, and many people might not think to really do. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that since it's phrased a little bit oddly, but with intention. So there's RBS-56 over here, there are 30 points, they carry 8 missiles, 26 AP, 50% accuracy, 22 75 meter range, all that jazz, you can look this up in the armory, see it all for yourself, and of course more experienced players will be able to recall those off the top of their head from the number of times that 26 AP missile has smacked into the side of one of their tanks, and that sort of is my point here. <clears throat> Fenor is pushing into Delta, and in order to distract him, I send forward four individual militia and their boxes over to this side just to see if it was empty. I knew it wasn't really that empty, but also just to pull attention away. And right there we have an ATGM hit, and right here the ATGM gets turned off. And the question is why? This is a 30 cost unit, it has 8 missiles. If it can kill 5 point boxes with every missile, then it has no reason to not take those kills. It'll, it'll get its own value within some. Of course, with a 50% accuracy you can't count on those all being hits. But why Fiener turns this off is twofold. First, he has an STRF 9040 here that can clean up a lot of these boxes. Second, he has M41A1s, XA186s, NOs, and lots of infantry. This is not really a threat. What could be a threat is if I have more behind it. If I have a tank behind it, or if I have you know higher cost infantry and higher cost IFVs or APCs or things like that, that he wants to get the kill on from these RBS-56. And that is really where this decision tree begins. It's, can I kill this? Yes. Should I? Maybe not. And if we take a look in, even just these XA-186 NOs are actually doing pretty good suppression damage. They're slowing down and killing these militia. Combined with the SCRF, there's really no need to have used the RBS-56 there. Yes, it would have, you know, using that ATGM would have made this a shorter engagement, but it might have also made the next one catastrophic. And consider as well, you know, we talk about paying off units all the time. So when you look at the end screen on a match and you go, okay, well, I had this 60 point unit, it got 50 points worth of kills, it didn't pay for itself. Or I had this 10 point unit, it got 30 points in kills, it did pay for itself. One thing we're ignoring there is for ATGMs, you know, if he had used three or four more missiles in order to feel confident fending off a second push, he probably would have had to come in and resupply this, and that has its own cost as well. So we're then looking beyond just the base cost of the unit, and some things like five point boxes with ATGMs don't always pay for themselves so much in terms of resupply costs, or at least that's my opinion. Anyway, so I want to point this out. It's a micro moment from a major general that wasn't even on the main front where he's now broken through into Delta. It was on the side, and it was still done very, very well.